What's Wiggle and Larry Nerdisters? It's your boy, Mr. CEO, Big Daddy Shea Muma of this beautiful, awesome, fantastic technology YouTube channel. That is Wear Notice. And guys, today in this Wear Notice video, we're going to be getting a hands on experience with none other than Android 9 Pi, the latest version of Android on the essential phone baby and as you may have noticed I also have an iPhone 10 in my hand right here and now why is that well it is because the gesture based navigation on this bad boy right here Android 9 Pie is very similar to that on the iPhone 10 so I thought it would be cool to also look at them side by side in this hands-on video so folks without further ado let's get to looking at Android 9 Pie on the essential phone baby where notice on the baddest beat met a lot of people but still don't know defeat Running for the White House, but I am no athlete. Got Jordans on my feet and haters in retreat. Wait, I am the CEO. Competition robotic, call him C3PO. So folks, here we are with my essential phone running Android 9 Pi. So let's just go ahead and unlock that with my fingerprint just like that. And here we are on the home screen. Now, first thing you'll notice is right down here. Instead of having that sort of quintessential Android three little buttons, three little navigation buttons on the bottom, now in Android Pie, at least by default, there is only one. And why is this? Well, it's because in Android 9 Pie, this is, in my opinion, the biggest new feature and is also my favorite new feature. This is the gesture-based navigation. So it is actually a lot like the iPhone X's navigation, which is why I have my iPhone 10 right here. Let's unlock this bad boy too with my face. Come on, little guy. Look at my face. Yep. So yeah, first thing you'll notice is, well, let's get to the multitasking view. To do that, you're going to want to swipe up from the bottom of the screen just like that. And now if we go over to the iPhone 10, as you guys will see, it is pretty much the same thing. You just swipe up from the bottom of the screen and there you are in the multitasking view. As you'll notice, they both are now horizontal scrolling. Android before was vertical scrolling. Uh, iPhone 10, that's always been horizontal scrolling. But on the iPhone 10, as you see, they sort of like overlap each other. On uh, Android P, as you can see, they do not overlap each other. And yeah, that is just one thing. And now if you wanna look at, let's say the app drawer on Android P, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna swipe like you're going to multitasking and just keep swiping up. And then there are all your apps. Obviously on iOS, on the iPhone 10 or any iPhone for that matter, the apps are just on the home screen. And yeah, also while you're in the multitasking view here on Android 9, watch what happens. So let's say you want to get to split screen multitasking, something that I think is super duper cool and I wish Apple would put on their iPhones. Well, what you've gotta do is you gotta come up here to the app, hold down, and then you're gonna to wanna to tap, well, this might be a little obvious, but split screen. And yeah, now as you can see that hides up there and let's get Google Play down here and now look, I can scroll through my Twitter, maybe tweet a little bit while looking at apps. Is that not cool? And yeah, you can resize those windows a bit just like that if you want to look at some bigger tweets or some bigger apps. And yeah, is that not pretty cool? And now one more thing about the multitasking view on Android 9P that's actually pretty cool that iOS does not have is, well, look at this. If you swipe all the way over here, there's a clear all button if you want to close all your apps at once. On iOS, there's no option like that, which stinks. And also, it's much easier on Android 9 Pie to just swipe away, swipe away, and close those apps, because all you gotta do is just boop, just like that, but on iOS, you gotta hold down on the app first, then you can swipe, or you can tap the little red minus button, and yeah. And now another thing with that gesture-based multitasking, let's say you're in an app on your Android 9 Pie device, like my essential phone right here. You're in an app, let's pretend we're in an app on the iPhone 2. Uh, we're in the phone app on both of these. You can swipe just like this to switch between the two different apps, and yeah, as you can see, if you swipe this way, nothing happens, but if you swipe like that, you can keep switching between your last two apps. On iOS, folks, it's actually a little better because you can switch between all of your open apps just like that. You can go both directions, as you can see right there. Whereas once again, on Android, it limits you to the last two apps like that, and you can't swipe that way. So yeah, that could be better on Android 9 Pie. But then another cool thing actually, while we're in the multitasking view, you can actually access the apps in the little dock on the home screen while in the multitasking view right there on iOS you can't. You actually have to go to the home screen to access those apps. So yeah, that's pretty cool. 
and yeah. And now one more thing with this gesture-based navigation that you'll notice in Android 9 Pie is if you come over into an app, for example, you'll notice that when you can go back to something, like for example, back to the home screen, there's also a back button right there that you can use, but notice it is not always visible. Like for example, let's go into, how about the Play Store? Let's go, let's look at the Google Ads app, right? We're in the app. Now, if we wanna go back, in this app to the last page we were on, which was the Google Play home screen, we could tap the back arrow in the top of the screen like that, or we could also do this bottom one right here, just like that. So now if you don't like this gesture-based navigation in Android 9 Pie, you can sort of change it in the settings app. So let's head over there just by swiping up and then swiping up, or by swiping all the way up, get to the app drawer. Now let's look for settings, here it is. And then come all the way down here to system, and then come over down here to gestures, and as you can see there are a bunch of different gestures here this one that says swipe up on home button if you turn that off look what happens you get those three navigation icons back down there and yeah you can tap that one to get to the multitasking tap that it can act as the home button just as usual and that back key stays there all the time i personally prefer the iphone 10 gestures going on on android 9 pi so i'm going to turn that back on and yeah, now you know that if you don't like it. So now next in this hands-on video with Android 9 Pie on the Essential Phone, let's check out taking screenshots on this bad boy. So to do that, you can hold down the power button right here, and then you feel a little vibration, and then right there it says screenshot. So you just tap that, take the screenshot, and then now just like on iOS, watch what happens. Uh, you can go and mark up, edit that screenshot right there without um, having to go back into the Photos app or anything like that. And now guys, watch. If we go to take a screenshot on the iPhone 10 with iOS 11 uh, by pressing the volume up button and the side button at the same time, look, boop, that was kind of difficult to do uh, with only one hand, but see, you get that markup as well. iPhone got first. But yeah, let's do let's do a quick look at this so you can apply some filters to it. So you can filter your screenshots if you want to do that. Probably don't, but you can. Uh, over here, you can do some different controls, make it brighter, make it more poppy, whatever that means. Uh, you can change the cropping. Maybe you just want to crop out a certain part. Ooh, and you can also rotate it looks like. And let's crop that, make it all nice and weird and done and yeah what else can we do we can come over here uh we can undo those edits we can save it and yeah and now also if we want to look at what the original screenshot looked like before the edits we can just hold down like that and it looks like it doesn't factor the cropping in but as you can see hold down it says original and yeah and now that we've got those two changes out of the way, let's talk about some more minor changes in Android 9 Pie. As you'll notice right here, the clock actually moved from the right side of the screen to the left side. Now it's on the left side, and that is just like on the iPhone, as you can see. So yeah, and then also, uh, if you swipe down these little guys, the actions in the notification area, those have been redesigned slightly. And actually, guess what else has been redesigned? The settings app, just a tiny, tiny little bit. You may have noticed that earlier when we were in there. And yeah, there's also a redesigned volume user interface, as exciting as that sounds. But basically watch, when you increase or decrease the volume, the volume slider, it now looks like this. And see, so you can toggle it like that. And you can also change right here if you want your phone's notifications to vibrate the phone. Uh, right now it's vibrating. If you want them to be muted, if you want them to make noise, or I keep it on vibrate like that so I can feel it but not have a, a loud, annoying sound. Uh, disturbing me and yeah that is the volume slider as you can see on iOS 11 this is what the volume looks like I'm definitely liking the Android 9 Pi volume indicator better because as boring as it does sound redesigning the volume slider at least here on Android 9 Pi it is out of the way not blocking what you're doing but on iOS look it just gets right up in your face like if you're watching a video you want to change the volume that's gonna bother you but here just like this not really gonna bother you and watch if you tilt your phone if you bring it in a landscape to the volume slider it is still nice and off to the side so while that may be a little thing for some people you gotta admit that it could it could be one of those little things that does make a nice difference at least compared to iOS I mean come on look at that guy come on and lastly here is the Android 9 Pie Easter egg in the settings app look at that 
Uh, you can play with this and it, it basically looks kind of crazy as you can see you can zoom in zoom out with pinching it and wow look at that guy this is gonna make a cool thumbnail for the video though don't you think yeah no maybe and then yeah if you want to play with that guy on your own all you have to do is come right here in the settings go down here tap system and then you're gonna want to tap about phone then Android version then you're gonna want to tap the nine a bunch of times until that pops up and then just like that you've got this bad boy to pinch play with and <laughs> yeah is this your favorite feature of Android 9 Pi uh, it may very well be that would be weird I personally once again like that new navigation going on but yeah anyway folks that'll be all for this awareness video so yep if you enjoyed this hands-on video with Android 9 Pi on the essential phone definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and well subscribe to the wear notice technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one I do love all my subscribers after all so if you want my love you know what to do hit that subscribe button and I'll love you also if you subscribe that'll help you out because definitely count on my full review of the essential phone coming out soon definitely want to get that out for you guys that'll be something you don't want to miss and also I'll have a link to my unboxing of the essential phone down in the description of this video if you want to watch that too and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing wear notice out with Android 9 Pi on the essential phone baby